Hey there! Welcome to a tutorial on how to make a lower third with the Logo Creator. The Logo Creator can do so much more than just logos, and this tutorial is going to show you a really cool trick. Now a lower third is, is a graphic that's usually placed over a video or a photo, kind of like a watermark. I'll show you when I'm done, and this is how we're going to do it. First we're going to start off with a blank canvas. So all we're going to do is go to File, New Template, and we'll name this Lower Third. And we're going to stretch this to roughly rectangular size. And we're going to go up here into the graphics area, and we're going to find the built-in backgrounds. Now I happen to have a lot of graphics from all of my logo sets, but the logo creator comes built in with backgrounds and textures. So find that in your copy of the logo creator. And you'll notice all these cool textures and graphics. Um, go ahead and pick any one that looks good to you, like I'll pick this for now. I'm gonna drag it to the canvas. It's a square, so now what we could do is go to image scale width. And we're gonna scale the width a little bit, and we're gonna shrink the height a little bit, and we're gonna bring it down to about here. Then we're going to go up here and grab any graphic you want. You can find a picture of yourself if you have one on your hard drive. For my demo purposes, I'm going to find uh, my little Baldy Bob guy because I, <laughs> I really like him. And we're going to pull him down here. I'm going to make him smaller. And we'll put a little iPad in his hand. Make that smaller. We're going to place him in front of the iPad. Bring to front. There, so his thumb's over the iPad. There we go. And we need to add some text, so I'm going to write, We're iPad friendly. Add. Bring it down here. Scale the text. Crop the spacing a little bit. Make it a tad bigger. Got to make it pretty big. We can shrink it later. And let's, of course, make it a different color because it's not going to work with black. So we'll make this white for now. And maybe we'll add a shadow. And we'll put the shadow like that. And we'll fade the shadow opacity down a little bit. And we'll make it just a little bit bigger. And finally, what we're going to want to do is export it as a transparent PNG file. I'll name him Baldy Lower Third. Now, to use this graphic, we can place it over anything, a graphic or a video. Here, let me show you. Let's say we have an image of a car. I happen to have one for this tutorial. I'm gonna bring it onto the canvas. You can obviously use Photoshop or whatever else if you want to. Um, I use the local creator for everything. So I'm gonna bring my picture onto the canvas. I'm also going to import my latest lower third image that I just exported, Baldy Bob lower third. Boom, here he is and we can shrink down the opacity a little bit. I mean, the shrink down the size a little bit. Put them on the side. There we go. So it acts like a kind of watermark. You can also place it in your video editing software. For example, the video that I'm making right now as we speak, I can bring in my lower third and make a lower third watermark over it simply by dragging it onto my video editing canvas. I'm using a, a software product for the Mac called ScreenFlow. I, I love it, it's terrific. But any video editing software that you may be using, I think even YouTube allows you to import a graphic. Um, you can make it as big or small as I want in the software. And then when I play my video, my lower third is there for the whole video. And I export this to YouTube and my lower third is gonna be there the whole time. Pretty cool. There are a few things you can do with the lower third. You can actually grab graphics from any of the sets you have um, and you can do some tricks like let's make it longer and skinnier and bring in any of your other graphics that you have like like the glossy objects just for a cool thing and you can add your name and obviously make it in any font that you think is cool there's my lower third kind of cool you can bring in a picture if you want to you can double up the graphics. For example, if I click on this rectangle, I can duplicate that, lower it a little bit, bring it to the very back, and 
then bring down the color of it just a little bit. Image color, colorize, and you'll notice that it's just a little bit of a different color, just for a cool effect. And now when I import, export that, and I import it over my photo like this, shrink it down a little bit, and there is a whole different look. You get the idea. And you can do anything you want and it works great for videos, it works great for regular photos or anything you can overlay. So have fun with the software and I hope this tutorial helped.